This brief video will explain what the results box is showing us. So at the very top, we see the value of the intervention. What this is telling us is the value above the cost of the intervention. So if we pay for the program, whatever it is, we are better off by $5,925. And this value includes all of the uncertainty in this proposition, includes all of our values and disvalues. Um, what you see here is a breakup. Um, CE stands for certain equivalent. So if we do the intervention, the certain equivalent is the amount of money that the deal is equivalent to for us. And it turns out to be uh, minus $372,575. And if we don't do it, then we're out by $378,500. So note that both are negative figures. And so the value comes from the fact that the CE of the intervention is lower than the CE of no intervention, as in it's, uh, it's a lower loss. So that's why we get a net positive value of the intervention. So it's less of a bad proposition for us. So now the value to cost ratio is, de is defined as the value of the intervention divided by the cost of the program. And as long as this is above zero, we should be smiling. Now, of course, uh, the, the decision is not just based on uh, having a positive value to cost ratio or a positive value of intervention. Uh, we would definitely want to look at the other competing programs that are on our table and pick the one with the highest value to cost ratio. It also depends on how much uh, money we have, liquidity we have in order to pay for these, but that's a separate discussion. Then we get to value of control on minor injuries given success, and that's this distribution here. So the way to interpret this is, if somebody came along and said, hey, we could um, control the minor injuries given success, given the success of the program. So yes, you can buy the uh, the alcohol education program, but in addition, if you pay a little more money, then we can make sure that the number of injuries you see on campus at the minor level is no more than 100. Well, this analysis says you would pay nothing for such an offer. Well, what if we could control the number of injuries with this special module, say a research module, you get access on how to implement the program very effectively and it'll be no more than 56. Well, that has a value of $1,335. And what if it's low at 37? Well, no more than 2235. So that tells us if, if someone offers to, to really control the level of minor injuries, this is the most we would pay. The other big one is the value of information on these two uncertainties. So if it's success, the value of information on success for us is $15,840, which means if someone comes along and says, hey, you know what, I can resolve whether this program will or will not be successful for you. The most you should be willing to spend for such information is $15,840. And if they can tell us what level of minor injuries we're going to get, we would pay zero or nothing. Now that's pretty significant because what that means is our decision of picking the program does not change regardless of how the minor injuries turn out. Now this has to do more with the level of major injuries shifting, which are in this situation probably good enough to justify the decision. But in a situation where say the, uh, the major injuries did not make a difference. So for instance, let's make this 10, eight and six. So this is a situation which says that there is absolutely no value to uh, this program. Let's start increasing the chance of success. Even if it's 100% chance, it's too expensive. Okay, let's reduce the cost a little bit. Let's make it 1,000 bucks. Ah, so at $1,000, yeah, we're better off. This is a pretty good thing. Okay, let's make it uh, maybe 10,000. That's better. Uh, okay, so at, at, at $10,000, not $18,000, and with these figures, if we believed the program made absolutely no difference to, to major injuries, then the value to cost ratio is about 0.38. And now we see um, 
the value of information on minor injuries given success is $9,250. What that's telling us is there is value to knowing what's going to happen to the minor injuries and might swing our decision. The value of information on success is zero because we've set this at 100%, which is ridiculous. So let's bring it somewhere more reasonable. So let's say 74%. All right. At that level, yes. If we know what the chance of success is, that will change our decision. And this number also changes. So, so the idea is you can start to do all these what-if analyses very, very quickly and start asking questions. Well, what do I need to believe for me to say yes to this program? And turn on these little knobs to, to query our, our decision thinking. Hope you have fun playing with this. Thank you for watching.